The maths behind 4,000 hours watch time to monetize your YouTube channel. If watch time has to be 4,000 hours in one year, what's the minimum amount of videos you need to make this year? How many views does each video need to get? And how long should the video be? I'm not gonna tackle the subscriber issue, because I think if you follow the quest in getting 4,000 hours of watch time, the subscriber count will go with it. Also, there are a ton of variables that come into play here, so we're going to assume a couple of things for the sake of this exercise, each video you make, gets the minimum amount of views needed and was watched all the way through by each of these views. We'll call these views pure views because this assumes that they were watched in their entirety. Since videos stay around forever, older videos can increase in views randomly and consistently throughout the year, so since this math would be extremely complicated, we're not talking about that. So, here are the things that we know. We know that 4,000 hours of watch time is equal to 240,000 minutes. We also know that YouTube prefers 10-minute long videos. So 10 minutes will be the baseline for part of our discussion. Let's begin. To reach the 240,000 minutes of watch time needed, you could make 240,000 videos at 10 minutes long, with each getting one view. This is impossible. 2,400 videos at 10 minutes long, with each getting 10 views. This is also pretty unreasonable. 240 videos at 10 minutes long, with each getting 100 views. Now we're talking. Though 100 views would be hard to get on every video, unless, every video you make is a quality video, the thumbnail is very clickable and extremely search-friendly, this won't be as hard. Basically, if you ride on trends the entire year and create a bunch of how-to videos, along with niche content and the content that you want to make we're looking at an extremely possible situation. 240 videos at 10 minutes long, each getting 100 views, means that each video needs to have a total of 1000 watch time minutes, which is equal to about 16.5 hours. Extra tip take a look at your video library. If you have a video that has already received 1000 watch time minutes in the span of a year, Find out what made it work so well and try to replicate its success. We also know that 240 videos a year, gives us an additional 125 days in the year where a video is not being uploaded. This means one video every 1.5 days or roughly 5 videos a week. Only 10 minutes a piece and you've got a nice weekend off. But 100 views is still a lot for a small channel to maintain, including myself, so you spend 5 days a week recording, editing, uploading and then the other two days are left from promoting your videos in the right Facebook groups, subreddits, Twitter, etc. But, for argument's sake, and because I still have plenty of more math for you, let's say 100 views still seems like a lot. Well, what if we made 365 videos this year, instead of 240? That means, one video a day. Most people will even tell you that you should have daily content anyways. So 365 videos a year, at 10 minutes long, means that you only need to get about 66 views on every video you upload. Getting 66 views is much better than getting 100 views. But what if I show you something crazier? If you increase each video by 1 minute extra, then you have 365 videos, each at 11 minutes long. Now you only have to get 60 views, instead of the initial 100 views. This assumes that every video you put out is only 10 minutes long, as that's the baseline, but we'll see that the more videos you put out, the less views you need to get on each video. Obviously the top part of the chart is practically impossible, so the first realistic goal here, depending on the kind of content you make, is 686 videos this year. This is close to uploading 2 videos a day, every day, and receiving 35 views on each video. The next main one is 365 videos, which was covered above. But then right under that is 240 videos, again only requiring you to have 100 views. The less videos you put out, the more views you need to have to reach the required watch time. Technically you could put out one video, every two weeks and end up with 24 videos by the end of the year. If you can get each of these videos up to 1000 views apiece, then you'll be able to make the required amount of watch time. Additionally, if these videos are longer than 10 minute long, you could easily make less videos, 
depending on how much you want to advertise your videos. Again, remember that these are pure views meaning that every one of these views has to have seen the entire video for it to count. Now we have to go back to the word problem. If watch time has to be 4000 hours in one year, what's the minimum amount of videos you need to make this year? How many views does each video need to get? And how long should the video be? A good start, in my opinion, is to try to make 300 videos this year at 10 minutes a piece. Don't flesh out the videos if they don't need to be 10 minutes long and if the videos go over 10 minutes, that's fine too. Try to incorporate live streams in the mix and maybe start a podcast. This will put you at about 6 videos a week, meaning that you'll only need to get 80 pure views on each video. If you target them to the right audience and share them in the right places, that's completely doable. Create a content strategy around this, execute it for a month, and then figure out if creating this many videos is too difficult for you or if you can create daily content. Experiment with it, but most of all, execute it. As a small creator, I can tell you as much as I need to, that I believe in you, but at the end of the day you have to believe in yourself.